Welcome back, this is Dr. Jane Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to continue on the journey of neural inflammation. We talked about the different impacts, things like alcohol, stress, and so forth. Today our topic will be stress and neural inflammation, right? So let's get into it. So if you look at all the different colors here, they're actually studies, right? I just took a blurb out of a study which shows stress impacts. Right? So let's look at this. Psychosocial stress throughout your life increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Right? There are a lot of people who are losing memory, short-term memory. It's becoming a very difficult situation for many families as they take care of their elderly parents who have dementia or Alzheimer's. Right? So if you look at this, psychosocial stress, meaning you know, things that happen in your life, excessive stress, divorce, marriage, um, children, death, all these things can accumulate and create a uh, degenerative process in the temporal lobe or Alzheimer's disease where accumulation of amyloid beta or tau uh, can create a neurofibrillary tangles and create degenerative processes causing Alzheimer's disease. So, so psychosocial stress is a huge factor. Stress causes microglial activation. Microglia is the immune cells of the brain. Basically, it causes or, or it cleans up damage that can occur in the brain or oxidative, oxidative stress that can occur in the brain. So stress causes microglial activation, which will in turn create more inflammation. So let's say you are in a car accident and had a concussion. And then over time, what happens is you have more stressful events. And the stressful events will all, all of a sudden trigger microglia. Microglia that might have been triggered because of a concussion. So the immune cells will start to uh, overreact to things. And stress can impact that, creating more degenerative changes in the brain and causing more neural inflammation. Another study shows stress, neural inflammation, and depression. Why would we get depression when we have stress? Because there's a big cortisol impact on the brain, especially the hippocampus and temporal lobe and so forth. But the neural inflammatory processes will start to affect areas, even the frontal lobe right? So patients who have chronic depressive disorders and don't really respond well to, let's say, treatment of medication and so forth, sometimes just giving them anti-inflammatories, right? Things like Advil and Moultrin and all these types of anti-inflammatories that are over the counter, that can actually help the depression because it's neuroinflammatory. So if you take a painkiller, quote unquote, or anti-inflammatory, and your mood lifts or your depressive, depressive mood changes for the better, then you may have neuroinflammatory processes going on. That's a really good clinical tip, right? Because if inflammation is the cause of depression, it doesn't matter how many medications you take, you have to take care of the inflammatory process that's going on. Another one is stress neuroinflammation, and gut microbiome, right? There's studies on this. Stress will impact your gut function, right? You ever have to, like, have a lot of stress and all of a sudden you get abdominal cramping, you need to run to the bathroom and so forth? <clears throat> These are autonomic effects. But over the long term, neuroinflammation affects the vagal function, which is in the brain, which helps innervate or control the uh, GI system will be altered. The alteration of nerve input to the gut will change the gut microbiome or the good bacteria in your gut, making it more susceptible for infection, right? Or overgrowth or candida. All these things can occur because of stress. So patients don't realize how big an impact stress can have in many, many different aspects of our lives, right? You think about it, your gut, depression, brain function, Alzheimer's, these are huge impacts in our lives, and it's rampant out there, right? Time to take care of yourself. 
You need to do the necessary things to help reduce stress or get out of stressful situations, right? Okay. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.